Hello and welcome to today's Lentil. Thank you for choosing to join with us today and if you'd like to like and subscribe to Darlington Baptist Church Online, click the little tick and then every time we upload a new Lentil you'll get a notification. Thank you for choosing to join with us today. So we have been looking at the Lord's Prayer, then we looked at Psalm 23 and now we are spending the next time up until Easter Saturday, till Holy Saturday, looking at uh, the lead up to Jesus' death and ultimate resurrection. Yesterday we looked at Matthew 26 verses 1 to 5 and today we're going to move on and read from verse 6. Matthew 26 from verse 6. While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the whole world, whatever she has done will also be told in her memory. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me? if I deliver him over to you. So they counted out 30 pieces of silver for him. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. God always blesses the public reading of his inspired and infallible word. So in this passage today, we see two actions. We see the action of a woman um, who in this passage is unnamed and we find that she gets this alabaster jar of perfume and pours it on Jesus' head. Now, this alabaster jar, um, you might know, was around about a year's salary. So I think the average salary in the United Kingdom is something like twenty two to twenty four thousand pounds worth. That is what she has poured out on Jesus' head. And the disciples are indignant. They, they say, what on earth are you doing? We could have sold that and used that 22,000, 24,000 pounds for a better cause than Jesus. But is there any better cause than Jesus? Jesus himself said, you see, uh, the poor you will always have with me, with you, but you won't always have me. Jesus knew what was ahead of him. He said that, she anointed him for his burial. You see, anointing was normally done for kings and for priests. Jesus is both a king and a priest. So in this passage here, she anointed him with this alabaster uh, perfume, or alabaster jar of perfume. And the disciples do not like that. Uh, one, one jot. The, the, then we read on that Judas, one of the disciples one of the twelve he after this immediately after this goes out and finds the 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 chief priests and says okay I'm willing to hand over Jesus what are you willing to give me to hand over Jesus into your hands and what we see here are two distinctly different approaches we see Judas saying what are you willing to give me and we see the woman saying, what can I give you? And that sometimes is like us with our relationships or us even with God. We can be people who are people who would seek to, to, to get all the time. What can I get from this? As I pray, what can I get? As I give to the church, what can I get? As I give to, uh, to my family, what can I get in return? Or we can be like the woman with the alabaster jar of very expensive perfume and we can seek to be people who are givers who lavish our love upon other people now that doesn't necessarily need to be in finance that can be we lavish mercy we lavish grace we lavish faithfulness upon others or we can be people who seek to 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 only to only um get to only sorry to only get rather than to give sorry my words got a bit tongue-tied there um so we can be either like the woman who lavished everything on Jesus 
or we can be like Judas who would seek only to get for his own benefit. And I know there's lots that we could talk about in that passage, but I, as I was reading this morning, I feel as though that's the, that's the one key to share today. Are you somebody who receives um, only and looks to act to get, or are you somebody who would lavish everything at the feet of your saviour, Jesus Christ? Thank you for tuning to join, choosing to join with us uh, today. We hope to see you at church tomorrow. 10.30 at Grange Road and 6 o'clock at Corporation Road. God bless you.